So Putin gave a speech and he was talking about, you know, there's inflation happening in the West. And he's going to tell you what, why. So they would tell you it's because of Putin. So Joe, Joe, Joe demented Joe Biden tells you it's because of Putin. Yeah, Putin like. MSNBC and CNN, they tell you, and they say it's because of Putin. I, I'm sure Fox News. Putflation, said, I call it. It's Putflation. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's going to, so Putin's going to talk about the cause of global inflation. So I have the vo- volume already down. So I'll read it to you. He says, surging inflation in product and commodity markets had become a reality long before the events of this year. The world has been driven into this situation by many years of irresponsible macroeconomic policies pursued by the G7 countries, including uncontrolled emissions and accumulation of unsecured debt. Unable or unwilling to find other solutions, the government of leading Western economies simply accelerated their money printing ma- machines. They did do that and used as this ignorant method to cover their unprecedented budget deficits. I have cited this figure over the past two years. The money supply in the United States has grown by grown by more than 38 percent. That's five point nine trillion dollars. The EU's money supply has also increased dramatically over this period. It grew by about 20% or 2.5 trillion euros. Today's rising prices, accelerating inflation, shortages of food and fuel, and problems in the energy sector are the results of system-wide errors in the economic policies of the current U.S. administration and European bureaucracy. So they printed money in large quantities, and then what? Where did all the money go? It obviously went towards purchasing goods and services outside the West. This is where the newly printed printed money flowed. They literally began to vacuum up and sweep out global markets. The interests of other states, including the poorest ones, were disregarded. They were left with scraps of exorbitant prices. While at the end of 2019, the United States imported about $250 billion worth of goods per month, that figure has now grown to $350 billion in goods per month. Wow. It is noteworthy that the growth was 40%, exactly in proportion to the unsecured money supply printed in recent years. They handed out printed money and used it to sweep up goods from the market of third world countries. So do you see what Putin is saying? Putin is saying that we printed money and then used it to purchase goods from outside our nation. And that's why there's inflation. Inflation is and that 40 percent went up exactly correlated to the 40 percent money printed. Um, That's what the libertarians say for sure in this United States that. Uh, printing money is what's causing inflation. I don't see how it can't. So do you think all that craziness at the top of the show, when we're like, why would they be going along? It seems insane. The people are getting yes. mad. It's like they basically <clears throat> got to cover up this long-term crime. So this Russia thing's real handy. Oh, okay. And they're like, oh, I guess we're just going to have to sacrifice because this Russia thing, like, oh, okay. and all their comp- all the stuff that he just described, which, by the way, it's very suspicious to me when a world leader says details of things and not just babble. Right. <laughs> uh, Biden just going, the light of the truth of the tree of the not MAGA. <laughs> That's the babble we get to hear from. He's just saying actual details of things. He's giving you facts and figures. And I don't like And he's connecting suspic- the dots. Yeah, that's called disinformation. So so that's probably what it is. They, they've already projected all the bad stuff that's coming down. So now it's like, uh, uh, you know, getting you used to how it's going to be because they screwed everything up and then having the so, scapegoat. So the economic system that the West has been instituting, which is just printing money. Yeah. And so like after the economic collapse in 2008, they just printed money. They didn't do anything to fix the economic collapse or what led to it or the problems that it caused. They just printed more money and they said, look, the economy's doing better and we're going to have zero interest rates and we're going to print a shit ton of money, which is exactly what they did. And now we're having inflation. This, this I, that doesn't I mean, I'm sure there's more reasons for the inflation, but it certainly seems like a big one. It's and, the same scam that happens over and over again. 
I mean, it's amazing. And like, so it now never they, gets fixed. And so now they're doing sanctions on Russia and a Ukraine war to cover up for their failed their own failed economic policies. And now they can say, oh, it's all because of Russia and this war, not because of our our own ideas. Hey, come catch one of our live stand-up shows. We'll be in Spokane, Tacoma, Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there. Mm-hmm.